everybody. I wanted to take a minute to talk about something that has helped me quite a bit over the last few years. Um, sometimes you'll run across a house that's pretty new and you need to sketch out the whole thing. Uh, I always ask to see if they have a floor pan available so that I can uh, use it as an underlay image to draw my floor plan in Xactimate. So today uh, I thought I'd take a minute to show everybody how I do it anyway. Um, I had a couple of tornado struck houses in the last cat and this was uh, a huge time saver for me. So anyway, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to import, we're going to add a second floor level and we will import the underlay image which is the uh, floor plan for the second floor for the house that we need to sketch and then we'll do a little bit of sketching. So to start with, we'll add the second level here. I usually call it second floor. So now we're at the second floor. Now we need to go find our underlay image. So I'll go right here to import. Import an underlay image. We will go to our new project. We'll go to our second floor floor plan and it's gonna set the scale here so it can keep everything so we'll pick a doorway that we know is a specific width there to there is gonna be about 2.5 feet for a 30 inch door okay now what we'll do here now is we'll just zoom in we'll start with this room here by the way, this particular room was completely gutted. By the time I got there, the roof had been co pulled completely off of this house. So, I'm going to call that because it was a medium room. We will call it a medium room. Next, we'll go on to the game room. I usually save all the windows and doors until I'm done sketching. So, drag it up there. Imagine doing this during a hurricane. Go back to tools. I need a vertex. I'll click on a vertex here. Bring that up to here. Or not during a hurricane, but following a hurricane. Cat event or whatever it happens to be. You gotta go in and sketch out this entire house. Not fun. Many, many late nights and early mornings. That's our game room. That room was about half totaled. Add another room on here. Sometimes it's easier if you have some funky angles like this just to use walls. Take the wall from here to here, there to there, here to here, here to there, and tie it back in. Then you can adjust the size, layout, check your dimensions and square feet. Name it the same as the floor plan, that way the homeowner and insurance company and everybody knows what you're talking about. We'll put a door in here just because we can. We will flip it. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
All my doors, I've set them up so that they go in as a uh, two-foot door. Reason is, is sometimes you try to put a door in a space that just doesn't fit. So, two-foot door will get you almost, get you in almost everywhere you need to go. Then you can just change the size of it. So we're gonna make it into a double door. Yes. And that's pretty much how it works. Uh, what you do then, after you get done sketching out the whole thing, it's pretty simple. Uh, once you're done with it, you've got all your rooms laid out. Got your first floor. Got our second floor. And um, go through and check your ceiling heights right here. These are all 10 foot ceiling heights. like that and then if you're done with it you've done all the rooms that you need to do in this case I'm done with it for now uh, this particular claim I had to sketch the entire house though so. and you want to get rid of this background image right here all you do is click on it and you see how this little red triangle popped up see that so, you don't have to move it. I just moved it for reference. Uh, then all you do is just hit delete. And it's gone. Then save your project. And go write your estimate. Now, I will take a minute here to say, uh, in another video I made, I showed how to add some exterior items. This particular house had a lot of exterior damage. So we will attach an exterior group. Also had uh, fencing, which I tend to separate, especially in a hurricane or something like that, because your fencing can add up really fast. And maybe let's say we had a couple of quotes from tree removal or whatever it is. I would usually put them underneath a general tab here. Just like that. So there you have it properly organized. Um, it's not top down. There you go. Move the second floor up there. So now we're top down. Estimate. Uh, as far as your sketch goes, you have your second floor. That only took a couple of minutes. Uh, you can see how what a big advantage it is to getting a copy of the floor plans when they're available, especially if you have to sketch out the entire house. And it's super easy to import them. You just go to Options, go to Import, Import Underlay Image right here. Select the image you're going to import. It'll set the scale. Again, we're going to set that at 2.5. It's a 30 inch door. Click OK. And if we wanted to, I'm sure we could line it all right back up again. like that so get rid of the underlay image just click on it hit delete you can do the same with roofs if you have them there you go click save and move on so that's how I import an underlay Im image to do my sketch, especially if I have a floor plan of the house and I have to do a lot of rooms in the house. It's a huge time saver, uh, especially during a cat event. So hopefully that helps somebody. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.